Please. Rocky, come on. Can I get in? No, don't mind me guys, just... I'll just scoot in around you. Are you ready? Are mm -hmm. we ready? I think so. I think we're good. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I posted on my Instagram the other day that... Are we going to growl all the way through this video? Probably. Um, yes, yeah, so why I did a post on my Instagram the other day asking what you guys wanted to ask us because <laughs> that's one video um that i've had requested quite a few times was to do a kind of couples q and a so i have a list of questions that you guys asked you haven't seen these yet i have not i can confirm um i did ask you for this information you did not give it to me no because i thought it'd be more fun i didn't want you to like overthink your answers you want, and stuff. You want i mean yeah. you should be able to answer them pretty quickly <laughs> oh no. <laughs> um, I will say a lot of people ask questions, so thank you so much to everyone who did ask questions. I will say though that a lot of the questions were the same. Okay. There was two questions Common. in particular that came up numerous times. Common themes, eh? Yeah. So okay. we'll go through them now. Don't look at how many, the list. I'm not. How many questions are there? It's like... Mm, like like tenish, like, like millions, millions like tenish. Some of them are like the same sort of questions, but like phrased differently. So I've just yeah combined. Cool. First question: How did we meet? Am I answering these, or are we? Sh well, we'll answer them? them together. You can answer that one. If you so want. we met online. Um, we used plenty of fish, yep. didn't we? Um, which isn't necessarily a common one for people to to meet on as a rule. I. Don't take it any offence, I hated plenty of fish. I thought it was awful. I had loads of weird messages. One of those was Steve. <laughs> no, I'm joking, right? So yeah, we met on plenty of fish. Um, and yeah, we just started texting. We text for like a week or two and then met up mm -hmm. and went from there really. Yeah, it was a weird one. Obviously we've been together a while now. So there wasn't, Bumble wasn't a thing. No. Hinge wasn't a thing. I think it was a thing, but was it wasn't it? like as big of a thing. I think it was like either basically Tinder or Plenty of Fish. Yeah. Or like Match.com. But yeah, basically we did meet online. I had mm -hmm. just recently moved to Bristol. Steve's always lived in Bristol, so yeah. yeah. That's it. That is it. That's it's not a story. very interesting story. And no, it's, it's one of those, isn't it? I mean, I feel a lot more people buy than Rocky. Um, I feel a lot more people meet online now. So. Oh yeah, hundred percent. But I, I, I think some people are a bit embarrassed to admit that they meet online. I don't, I don't really think it's a big deal. No, All, both of our families know it's never been a secret or anything like that. I don't think it's anything to be ashamed of. It's no. just the new way, isn't it? It is. The new normal. New norm. The new new norm. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna read the next three questions like kind of oh. they're all similar kind of themes okay this is one of the questions we got asked a lot steve when are you going to propose to lou are you guys planning on getting married when do you want to get married <laughs> <sighs> obviously we've discussed our future mm. haven't we um i think we're both pretty much on the same page i will say just to clarify obviously this is louise's audience um i have previously been told by louise no, no, don't no, I'm say saying this. it. I'm saying it because you said it to me. I have previously been told by Louise that if I were to propose whilst we were in the UK, she would say no. This was prior to COVID. No, right. That is not what I said. That is not what I said. I jokingly said, stop. You do this every time. I... Okay, so I jokingly basically said that, like, I would want you to, like, put a lot of thought, put a lot of effort into it. I wouldn't want it to just be like, oh, do you want to get married, basically. I would, personally, if we were to get married, I would like a nice, well thought through p proposal. Mm -hmm. And I jokingly said, oh, I had to be on a beach somewhere. Jokingly. And I, no, oh my gosh, Steve, you're so annoying. You're so <laughs> no, annoying. You have, you have said since about, it's more about the thought that I goes think into it. I said it as a joke and you took it to heart and then we've always like joked about it since but in all honesty i don't think we're you're right down there mate you're kind of like <laughs> slipping back 
I don't think either one of us is in a massive rush to get married. No. Um, I would like to get married, but I'll be... Com Are you okay? We're trying to film something here and you're just being really annoying. Um, I would like to get married. I think we have both discussed. Right. You're going to have to sit on the floor if you're going to keep fidgeting like that. There we go. Right. So we've both discussed and said, yes, we would like to get married. We hope to get married one day. <laughs> I'll be completely open and say that if we, if you propose to me tomorrow, I don't think we get married for a while, purely because I don't think either one of us is that bothered about a wedding. No. Um, and I think there's like, like having a wedding and then there's getting married. So I'd like to be married, but we've kind of discussed previously that maybe a wedding's not really that big of a deal for us as it would be for some people. Yeah, I think I think ultimately it would be a long, probably a longer engagement than not necessarily most people, but I don't necessarily think if we were to get engaged, I don't think we'd be instantly like, right, let's plan the wedding sort of thing, I don't yeah. think. Yeah, no, I don't think I could be bothered to be honest. But I think there's like, no, I, I think there's other stuff that we prioritize a yeah. lot more. Obviously we've said that we would like to move house hopefully this year. Mm -hmm. Um, we're both kind of growing up businesses and things like that and those do take more priorities because to us I think getting married is not going to change anything yeah like uh, yeah I agree um, I mean we've we've you know it's it's one of those things like we've already got like a joint account we already have dogs together we already have a house together like we have a business together mm. whilst being married would be cool I don't think, <laughs> you know what I mean, yeah. whilst, it, whilst it would be yeah. nice, I don't think it's the, I don't think, it, it's, it's almost as if we've like not achieved, achieved is the wrong word, we've already co completed um, other things. We're all very, already very committed. It's not, it's not like we would need to get married and then we're like, okay, well, let's buy a house together, we've already kind of done that. Yeah, um, uh, Yeah. We ha we've made a lot of commitments in our relationship already. Already, yeah. Um, yeah. So that's that really. I think we both, yeah, to sum it up, we both do want to get married. Yeah. Who knows when that'll be? Why wouldn't I, I want to get married to her? Oh, you're saving yourself there. <laughs> that's true though. <laughs> yeah, I, we joke about it a lot, but yeah. Like, I always joke about it with Steve and being like, well, you've not put a ring on it yet, but you know that there's no, uh, uh, like, I it would be nice, gonna, but it's not, not like. Anywhere. <laughs> No, I know, what, I know what you're saying. Are you ready for the next question? This is the next big question that was asked a oh, lot. It's about kiddies. Yeah. So, general um, questions was basically, do we want kids? Or do we want to just be for mum and dad? Like, is that our plan? If we do want kids, when do we want kids? Bam! Bringing in, bringing in all the adulting questions. Yeah. Yes. I thought some of these might be a little bit more light-hearted, but no. There bam. are there are some in other with, ones. It, it with the seriousness. There are away. some other more um, hard ones. So uh, I, again, this is something. Oh my no. Again, this is something we've discussed, isn't it? Um, this is one of our fur babies. Oh, we don't want any kids because we got you. No, that's a joke. No, I, I, I yeah, obviously. Um, like we have discussed this, but. It's similar to the marriage thing, isn't it? We we've discussed it. We're we're on the same page, but we're in no rush. The page is that we both would like kids in the future. Yeah. We're not in a rush to have kids. I'm not the most. Um, I was going to say maternal. I think I am ma maternal, but I'm not broody. Exhibit A. I'm, yeah, but I'm broody for dogs, but not for kids. You're maternal, but I don't think you're broody. Yeah, um, please don't lick me. <laughs> um, <laughs> Exhibit A. <laughs> I'd be so good with kids, I'm so patient. Um, no, I, I don't think I'm a very, I've never ever been a very broody type of mm. person. Yeah. Um, I know that I would like kids and we've discussed that we would like to have kids. Mm. Um, but yeah, no rush. And I think one of the reasons is because um, we're both not ready to be stopping selfish. Yeah, I, th I think there's a lot that we kind of still would like to achieve in our life before we 
have to, I know this is going to sound, I may, I may come across and sound like an idiot here or, or like really selfish, but there's a lot that I still think we both want to do, both individually and as a couple, um, before we then have to prioritise a kid. Because obviously when you do have children, they do have to be your number one priority. Yeah. Um, and there is still some some things that I think we both want to achieve, isn't there? We like having freedom. Like, at the end of the day, yes, we have two dogs and a mortgage. So we are tied down, you know, a fair amount. But we do have freedom to travel when we want, to do what we want. Yeah. You know, um, like, when I quit my job and I freelanced and stuff like that, if we had kids, would I have done that? Like, no, no. definitely not. Um, so, yeah, I just think we're not ready to make certain sacrifices that you would have to potentially make to have kids. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just think we're we're cool having the dinky life, do you know what I mean? Yeah, 100%. like we like going on holiday, we like going out for meals and stuff and we don't wanna we don't wanna give up. Not that not that you have to give it up, but No, but we wanna be selfish. Yeah. For I now. mean at the moment we've got two dogs and that's plenty. Yeah. Yes, agreed. So don't be expecting any little Steve's or Lou's running around anytime soon. We didn't really answer the question of like when. Probably because we don't know. Like when we're ready, yeah. we'll know. I mean, I'm we... I'm thirty, you're twenty nine. Like there's no. I'd say like mid thirty. Yeah, like there's no there's no immediate rush on our end. Like we could wake up in a month's time and be like, oh my god, I'm ready for a family, and that's fine. I don't think that's going to happen. Don't make that face at me. I think it would definitely be down to me rather than you. Yeah. Because I think Steve's probably slightly more ready for kids than I am. I'd probably... I, only marginally. I'd probably say that, yes, but obviously there's a lot more that goes into it from a female standpoint. Yeah, because you've got to carry it for nine months, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> In case anyone didn't know, it's like, that's how it works. That's how, that's how it works, yeah. Right, next question. What's one thing that we love about each other? You can say more than one thing if you want. Do you want me to go first? You can go first, I'll let you go first. Oh, thanks. <laughs> um, so, I love how kind and generous you are. Oh. It's like your first, your first thing that's like really stand out to me. Like you always, it always seems to come across that you put me first in a large portion of situations. Um, you're always very considerate, um, you always try and help me when you can, like, the amount of effort that Louise puts into making me feel better about myself, I don't necessarily feel that I reciprocate that as well as you do. Um, you know, when I'm like ill or I'm not like feeling 100% there, you're just there, you're always attentive, really, really good in that, that capacity. So I'd say that's your number one trait. Mine, I, what I was thinking was kind of similar and like what I was going to say is that you're like really kind and caring and you're very much like a family person hmm. like you will go above and beyond for your family um, and yeah you always go above and beyond like I just think like the main thing that I love like not just about you but our relationship is that like you are my best friend Hmm. How mushy is this? Uh, <laughs> but honestly, like, Steve is my best friend. Like, I say this to you all the time. Yeah. But Steve knows me better than, like, anyone. Anyone. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you just know me, like, Yeah, completely. And, and, and to be honest, like, I know, obviously, everyone with the, with the restrictions and stuff, everyone has been put to the test. And don't get me wrong, it's not like it's been... A bed of roses for the past oh god yeah like 12 15 months but um I, like i i think we've got through it pretty well but i think that's in in most part down to how well we get on like genuinely yeah. we, we genuinely enjoy spending time with each other we are just like actual mates yeah and like i just think that's so important that's all i've like ever wanted was just to have someone who was literally like we spend so much time together because we enjoy each other's companies, like, we just get on so well. Mm. But, like, I don't want us to come across, like, really pukey and, like, oh my gosh, like, hashtag couple goals, because it's just not like that at all. And, like, yeah, we got on really well, we have a really se similar sense of humour, we mm -hmm. have, like, literally really, really similar kind of um, 
like ideas is in like what we want from life and how we think of things is mm -hmm. very we're very aligned like that yeah but we argue loads and like we have good days we have bad days yeah. it's not like we're laughing and having a good time like the other day you were really pissing me off and we had an argument and like i i just hate like this whole kind of stigma online where people like to come across like the perfect couple and like we're by no means perfect we're both super stubborn we argue a lot like we don't i wouldn't say we argue a lot but we bicker all the time mm. all the time sometimes it's not even bickering sometimes it's just like banter. like playful banter Ooh. oh I think they heard a door shut somewhere. Yeah. Fine. Right, are you ready for the next question? Born ready. Oh, um, this one. What are each other's annoying habits? I could literally Go on, then, list break the, out the list. length of my arm I have. No, we've spoken about this before, I think. Um, so, your annoying habits are, firstly, you're kind of like chewing and drinking. Steve does this thing where, especially when you're like really enjoying your food, he like heavy breathes and he like, <sighs> and he like chews what's, really loud. What's the movie we watched not too long ago where, with Jason Bateman where he's like, oh, num, the switch, num, num, the, num. the switch. You know, I started, would you please stop having sex with food? Yeah, it's literally like that. And like when you have a cup of tea, you will slurp it. Um, the way that you chew your chewing gum, like... So it's mouth related things. Yeah, <laughs> stuff like that. Drive, and you, you bite your nails. Oh, you know I, I hate wait, that. I was waiting for you to say that, yeah. Yeah. But that's like... That's it. And like, thing is, normally like... That stuff wouldn't really annoy me. But obviously like being in lockdown with each other, these things are kind of like amplified. And they are way more annoying than they normally are. <laughs> like, normally it wouldn't irritate me on a daily basis. But obviously with lockdown... That was stuff that was irritating me on a daily basis. But you can go now. Now that I've like slagged you off, you can go. <laughs> I genuinely don't think you have that many. You, you, no, you've definitely got some. What, for you? Yeah. I can tell you my annoying habits that wind you up. Oh, rolling her eyes, that really irritates me. Oh, I, I don't roll my eyes. You just think that I roll my eyes. It's like I could be facing the other way and he goes, don't roll your eyes at me. I'll be like, what? She does roll her eyes. I hope when you're editing this back, when I say that, you roll your eyes. I pray that you roll your eyes. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's that. Um, when you think that you've um, answered a question of mine, and I either don't hear it, or you don't say it, and I'm, I'm like 99% sure it's her not saying it. So I will ask her a question when we're doing something. High five. Um, and then Louise just won't answer, and I'm like... No, oh, you're so full of BS, mate. No, I'm not. Like, you <laughs> ask, you ask what irritates me about you, and, and that does. No, like, in certain circumstances, I do answer and Steve doesn't hear me. So I'll say, okay, and then you will just rephrase the question, like, louder. And I'll be like, yeah, I know, I heard you. Um, no, I, I, I know one that annoys you that i say that i do go on um firstly sometimes i'll think stuff and i'll st start talking to steve about it and asking him questions without giving him any context yeah like it's like it's weird for sure for sure like i can't think, of, like, think of an example it's like louise will have a conversation with someone in the day and it'll either be work related or she'll speak to a member of her family or something and then give me the smallest but the smallest crumb of the story and, and then just assume to me to know it <laughs> yeah. when i wasn't part of the conversation yeah i think that and then the fact that i can be a bit um like i kind of flit around with stuff yeah like and it's like me trying to like all the stuff in my head i'm like when I dump stuff on you like I'll literally just start going and I'm just like vocalizing my thought process and then you're just stood there like can't what the fuck a, you want about can't get a word in yeah don't be precious <laughs> <laughs> yeah so I think like like I said earlier um we're very similar but then I think in some respects 
we're very different. Yeah. Like, I'm like 110 miles an hour and you're like... Five. Minus 10. <laughs> and like, you're like one thing at a time person. You like to take things slow. I am a man. I can do one thing at a time. Yeah. But I'm like, the stuff in my head is just like, bam, 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 bam. And I get really like excited and passionate about stuff. And sometimes I feel like when I dump that on Steve, he gets a bit overwhelmed. Oh, last thing. Last thing. Last thing that you hate about me. No, 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 no. It's just recently it's been really, really bothering me. It's just how quickly you fall asleep. It really irritates me. Well, I don't know why I say recent. I've always done that. It's just like, we could, we'll say goodnight to each other, have like a goodnight kiss, and then next thing I know, Louise is just like, passed out. Yeah, I literally just go, night babe, roll over, and I'm like, yeah. did that offend you? I'm sorry. Any holidays planned this year? Um, no, not really. Not planned. So we went, it was Steve's 30th in April. We did a staycation in Exeter because that's obviously all we could do. Yep. Um, we're actually going to North Norfolk this weekend just for a couple of nights. That's purely just to go and see my granny um, because we've not seen her for a very, very long time. Um, so we're actually just staying in an airbnb and then we're just gonna go and like obviously social distance like go to her garden sort of thing but that'll be really nice because i used to spend a lot of time in north norfolk because my granny's always lived there and um yeah so it'd be nice to sort of take you around like where she lives because yeah. it's really lovely and sort of quaint um and then it's my 30th in july the hope was well, the hope was that basically we would be abroad for both of our birthdays. Um, obviously, it didn't work for yours, but and I doubt we're going to be able to go abroad by July. I just don't see that happening. Um, but nothing's booked. We would love to go on holiday. We managed to get um, away for a week at the end of last year, in September. September. Mm -hmm. And I know like a lot of people are going to have opinions about this. At the time, the government deemed it safe to travel, so we did. Mm -hmm. Looking back, I'm so surprised they did deem it safe to travel. It just seemed ridiculous. Um, yeah, so I, I think we're just going to see what happens when it comes to it. But obviously, there would be certain places that we would travel to and certain places that we wouldn't. I'd like to think, so our anniversary is in November. I know Louise has done videos on our anniversary trips. Usually we try and go away for our anniversary, like a long weekend sort of thing, like a city break. I would like to think that everything would be back, not back to normal, but like travel normal. restrictions would be m more regular um, in November. So hopefully at the very least, we'd be able to go somewhere for our anniversary because it's our five year anniversary yeah. this year, isn't it? Yeah, we should go for like a bit more of a big blowout one. Yeah. Oh, I just remembered um, there was another question. I ask questions on like my Instagram, YouTube and whatever and it like, I feel like I've missed some. Ooh. One of them Sorry. was, um, <laughs> can you? My phone fell off the sofa oh, and settle it down? disturbed minor. So one question that was asked was if we could only travel to like one place like if we had to Ooh. choose one place to go on holiday and like you could only ever go to that place i can't remember how the question was phrased i can't find it but where, what would that place be so it's in one country or one specific place be a bit more specific so you can't just say like usa that's not specific enough okay i think for me because of the different options Greece. Oh, that's a good one. If you're in, that's why I said, is it like one place? Like if you said like Santorini, it, like are you like completely restricted to Santorini? No, I'd say Greece would. Or care, like yeah. you know you could go to different places in Greece. You could go to mainland Greece. So I, like I think there's, to be honest, if you go at the right time of year, you can go sn like do snow sports in Greece. I think there's a decent enough op set option list there. Um, or that or California for similar. So your answer is very similar to mine. So I was going to say Gold Coast Australia. Never been, so um, that would yeah, be cool. But yeah, but like if I, you know, someone said you could live anywhere in the world, that is where I would be. Um, if it was like friends, family, jobs, if that all just kind of like mm. fit into 
Oh, sorry, honey. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> if that just... You should... <clears throat> Like if we could take our dogs and stuff like that, then yeah, 100% that's where you'd find me on the beach somewhere. Um, but otherwise I was gonna say like Greek islands. Yeah. It's like one of my favorite places to go is Greece. Um, yeah, like Santorini, Mykonos, that kind of, that kind of vibe. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we're kind of similar. Again, we're very similar. Mm -hmm. so, so similar. I think if you'd been to Gold Coast Australia, then you wouldn't say California. I think you'd prefer the GC. Well. I've been to California twice, and I like it. So I'm just going California off. is nice. I'm just so. going off of where I where I've been. Um, definitely West Coast of America over East Coast for sure. Yeah. Um, right. What do your friends and family think about you doing YouTube? Well, we both have YouTube channels, so that's like A hashtag ad for me being on Louisa's channel. I don't um, think you'll get much closer <laughs> that, Yeah, I don't think it's there. Um, do you want to go first, as you started YouTube first? Uh, yeah, so for my parents, they don't get it, and it's a generation thing. They don't judge me, they completely, you know, support me, whatever I want to do, but I don't think they understand that you make money through it, they don't understand, like, my dad finds it baffling he's like so people just sit and watch videos of you and it's like yeah and like it, it's just a generation thing they don't quite understand but they support me um same with my siblings like they completely get it friends have like no issues with friends i think uh, all of my friends have just been more intrigued than anything mm. um yeah so like all in all i think pretty much all of my friends and family have been super supportive. I think that you will get some people who will kind of be like, oh, what are you doing that for? But who gives a shit at the end of the day if that's what they want to think? I think you just got to do you and whatever. As all the people in my kind of inner circle, as I would say, have been <laughs> really supportive, so. Yeah. Yeah, from, from my side, I think, Every, everyone has been much the same. Obviously, there, as you said, there's that generational thing. But yeah, it, for the for the most part, very supportive. Louise was very supportive of me when I started doing YouTube. I mean, I, I mentioned the idea previously, so I've always made content. Like, I've worked in marketing, I've always made content, but it's always been for someone else. So I just decided, like, with, the, with everything that happened in the past year, to just give it a go for myself. Um, and Louise has been very, very supportive, so thank you. You supported me as well. I think you I were th definitely very helpful for me because you had that more of an understanding of, yeah, like yeah. certain stuff than I did, and like even technical stuff like buying a camera. I used to find that stuff really overwhelming. I didn't really know like what I wanted and stuff, so like you've always been able to support me with that. We, we definitely help each other. I mean, obviously yeah. I've got the marketing background, so as Louise said, with that, and like all my branding and stuff and design stuff has been done by Louise, so. Yeah. That kind of leads into our last question. Okay. Which is more about like what our actual jobs are and how we got into them. Okay. So, I mean, we'll have to try and do this like super brief, otherwise we could literally sit here all evening and mm -hmm. talk. Um, but yeah, just to give you guys a bit of background, so we don't do YouTube full time. Um, I am a user experience slash user interface designer and Steve is, what is your title? Global Digital Marketing Manager. Yeah. Um, I, I, I always forget the first bit. What, the global? Global, like, yeah. I we global. Know. We global. Um, so how I got into it, basically I always was into design when I was at school and stuff. That was the only thing I was really like, I wouldn't say like good at, but the Actually, only no, thing that I, basically if I don't enjoy something that I'm not, I won't excel in it. So I was never really interested in anything else other than design. So I knew I wanted to do that. I went to university. I got a degree in design studies. Um, I worked my butt off doing internships, unpaid internships. Um, placement roles, things like that. I start, I actually originally wanted to go into print design but quickly found out that it was more of a dying industry. Obviously everything's digital now, so I felt like that was a really good move. Mm -hmm. um, I started off as a web designer. I learned a bit of coding, 
didn't really like doing any coding um so i just did literally web designs which is literally what it sounds like i would just design Absolutely. websites um is in not any of the coding and the development side of things just literally the kind of what it looks like um yeah and i just worked my my way up really just different kind of companies obviously i freelanced for the last two years um and now i am a user experience designer which is basically doing a lot of user research and testing and finding out the, the who what why where when i work across loads of different like digital platforms i work on apps um things like that i've got loads of like agency experience working with loads of different clients and stuff like that um i feel like this is turning into a cv when i say ux i think people know what that means i always forget that people don't know what that means it's not like a normal day-to-day -day term it's what you want to what you want to achieve it's on the website it's more about user behavior and why you do things a certain way to make it the end journey you easier for a user and then user interface design is just designing the interface for what it, it looks, looks like so it's kind of like ux is like the building blocks and then ui is like the paint on top <laughs> yeah <laughs> to put it very simply yeah. um but yeah that is what i do i'm now in a permanent role again um yeah i just found freelancing was like a bit more stressful i just wanted it to be more in a permanent role no what I was working on, who I was working with, stuff like that. So I decided to step back into a permanent role again. So I'll do the quick version because obviously we're on Louise's channel. Um, <laughs> and I'm sure people don't want to understand my CV. Um, basically, short version, I did a journalism degree at university. Um, similar to Louise in the fact that I thought I wanted to be a journalist. Um, and obviously print journalism, for the most part, is dying out. Um, Luckily though, with my university degree, they did the heavy focus in my second and third years was on broadcast journalism. So I learned all the camera stuff, I learned how to edit, I learned all of that stuff, which obviously is very, very important for me now, but also has been very important throughout my career. Uh, in my final year at university, I got a internship at a football club. Um, so I worked at a football club for a year whilst I was finishing my degree. Uh, left uni and then got approached by the football club to go and work for them full time. The person that I was reporting to was leaving. Um, they recommended me to come into the role. I uh, did that. I think I was there for around four years. Four years? Like that's when we met each other, was when Yeah, so I think it was role. like four, four and a bit years, um, all told. Um, had a great time. However, towards the end of my stint at the club, um, it was the travel that really started getting to me. It was like, so I was expected to go to both home and away matches. I was always working effectively. Um, but yeah, it was the, I think the travel was the final nail in the coffin for me. Um, so left there, went to work for a marketing agency. Um, so I sort of wanted to branch out of football. So Brant went into marketing, um, was there for around a year and then left and got the job that I've got now. Um, and I've been where I am now for two and a half years. Um, yeah, work for a software company. As I said in the title, we're a global software company. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's that's the short version of, of me and my, my career. Yeah. And then yeah, started doing YouTube almost a year ago now. So that's all of the questions. Mm -hmm. um, let us know if you like this style of video. We can do more like specific Q and A's if people want them. Like, yeah. um, I feel like people are never want to do like ask really, really in depth questions. But we honestly don't really mind ask answering no, I've, them. No, I've got nothing to hide. Far away. Let's <laughs> let, let, bring it on. Let, let us know in the comments. If, no, if you if you've got any questions, that obviously we didn't answer here. If there's any any burning desire mm. to learn anything else about us. That's yeah, it. I feel like this was like a really generic one. Like, again, thank you for everyone who did write in and like do any um, questions and stuff. But yeah, we could definitely do like more in depth ones about like business and about yeah. whatever. We could do assumption videos, Ooh. whatever. That'd be fun. Oh, assumptions. That'd be cool. Let us know if you guys want to see that. <laughs> um, but yeah, we hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, 
please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel and if you haven't already subscribed don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an upcoming video and until next time we will see you guys later